Welcome back to another video here on my channel. My name is Gregoria, also known as G, and here on this channel we talk about all things mysticism, spirituality, laws of the universe, and everything in between. I am so excited to have you here for another video today. Today we are talking about the phenomenon known as deja vu. So deja vu is the unusual feeling that you've already experienced something even though you consciously know that you have not experienced it. Most of us have experienced deja vu several times in our lifetimes and there are a whole bunch of theories as to why we experience it. So what I'm going to do today is share with you three scientific theories that scientists suggest are the cause of deja vu. One that I saw in a movie recently which I thought was incredibly fascinating and then my own personal theory on deja vu. So according to scientists theory one is known as the split perception theory. So it happens when you see something two separate times. But the first time was on the periphery like at the corner of your eye or you were distracted so it didn't have your full attention and focus. So your memory stored the information like a carbon print right? Very grainy at best. But the perception was made within your brain. So the picture is essentially incomplete. So the second time round when you witness the event, or not just event, it could also be the scenery or a particular room or even a person that could trigger it. But this time round, you have your full attention. It will feel familiar because of your brain's ability to recall information. Now, because you're not consciously aware of what happened the first time round, your brain doesn't recall it as a memory per se with all the people pieces filled in. So it tries to bridge those gaps. So because of recall and split perception, that's why it feels familiar, even though there was a moment before unconsciously that you had the same experience, maybe in the same room, maybe with the same people, maybe doing the same things. And it created basically a bridge between the two memories and it felt familiar, even though you can't recall having consciously experienced that experience. Okay, so that's one theory. Theory number two is the minor brain circuit malfunction theory. Now that's a lot of words, but it suggests that deja vu is triggered by a brain glitch. Now we all know about the glitches in the matrix. They happen often. So there's no reason why our brain can't too also experience glitches. There is like essentially a brief electrical malfunction. It can happen when the part of your brain that perceives and tracks present events is active alongside the part of your brain that recalls memories. So your brain falsely perceives what is happening right now in the present time as a memory. Now this theory is quite complex and the theory also includes the idea that our brain has this ability to recall short-term memory and long-term memory. And often when we're experiencing something new in present time, it gets stored into the short-term memory until the, the necessary neural pathways are connected to then create a long-term memory. But with this glitch in the brain, what happens is it essentially bypasses the short-term memory and jumps straight into the long-term memory, which creates the perception of the experience as though it were a memory. Theory number three is the memory recall theory. It suggests deja vu happens due to the way that our brain processes and recalls memories. It happens when an event resembles something you've already experienced, maybe as a child or maybe in your past, but you can't consciously remember. The implicit memory links parts of the unconscious memory to the current experience, which causes the deja vu. Now, this is a sound theory because think of the way our human brain is designed to recognize human faces or faces in things. Like why do we see the man on the moon? And, and when we're looking at certain clouds, we see faces because our brain is designed to recall things that feel and look familiar. So it makes sense. You know, the memory recall theory makes sense to me. It makes sense that sometimes our brains will piece things together when it only has some of the information to create a big picture that isn't there. It's like, have you ever seen that experiment where the bear is in the background, but because you're so focused on the foreground, you miss the background, you miss the bear altogether, but it's because your brain has pieced the background together without needing to be receptive and perceive everything that's going on, right? So it makes sense. This theory makes sense. I recently watched a movie called The Discovery. Thank you, TikTok, for recommending. And if you're a TikTok hater, that's okay. That's okay. Every social media platform is tracking you, is selling your data, and is doing all of those things. For me personally, I have fallen in love with TikTok. I have found so many tips, tricks, and things 
for that are useful in my life and in my business. So for me, I'm I'm team TikTok people. I am team TikTok. Anyway, this movie suggests that deja vu happens because when we die, we actually repeat the exact same life over again. It's in a different dimension, right? So it's not like we've got this, the same cycle on loop because that wouldn't make sense, right? So it's in a different dimension, but we repeat the life until we make the ideal decision so that we don't die again with the feelings of guilt and pain. And you repeat that life as many times as necessary. In the movie, it was about you know, this guy who basically wanted to save this woman. So he repeated the life over and over again until he was able to save her, okay? And when he was able to do that, he then stopped repeating that life. He wasn't going to go back to that moment. He ended up going back to a different moment because then he had to fix something else, right? So it was really interesting the way it was presented via this movie. So the deja vu phenomenon happened when you repeated the identical moments in each life because obviously each time there were slight different decisions. It's like, think of a crossroads right now. Do I decide to spray this perfume or do I decide to spray that perfume? And it could be a split moment decision that I've made. Maybe in the next life, if I were to repeat this exact life, you know, every single thing again, maybe I would choose a different perfume or maybe I would choose a different color candle or maybe I would choose a different walking path, okay? So it's the slight differences, but when I do repeat exactly the same moment, for example, picking up the same perfume, I may experience the deja vu phenomenon. Now, my personal theory differs from all of those. My theory is constantly evolving and I've never really felt solid in my theory Unlike I am with most things, most things I can speak with complete conviction. However, this theory has been something that's come to me very often over the course of the last however many years. So I am comfortable with this theory for now. Although dreams and deja vu are the two topics which I'm very fluid and constantly evolving and shifting my idea of what feels like truth to me. But for now, this feels like truth, so I'll share it with you with conviction. So as you know, I believe that we experience infinite possibilities and timelines. If you have not watched my infinite possibilities video, please go and watch that. So because I believe that, I believe that when two dimensions or parallel universes are very close together and they're experiencing the same linear time, because I believe that there are other dimensions and parallel universes who are experiencing different times. Like for example, me at age 50 and me at age 12, etc., etc., etc. But when two timelines, two different dimensions, parallel universes are experiencing the same linear time and those dimensions are actually very close together. So think of my twin flames explanation where I talked about how the star exploded and those that you're close to feel more familiar when it comes to soulmates and then your twin flame and your soul family. It's sort of the same concept. These two parallel universes are very close in proximity, energetic proximity, okay? And then those two parallel universes are experiencing the exact same moment simultaneously, okay? So that's why I refer to the same linear time. So me at age 30, almost 31, and that parallel universe at age 30, almost 31, experiencing the same date, time, same linear construct as we have here and now, super close together, experiencing the same moment simultaneously. Although there isn't a crossover per se. So I'm not talking about the Mandela effect where people believe in that theory that there's a crossover between dimensions where you move into parallel universes. There's not a crossover per se, but we are close enough to create a carbon copy, which has the energy of the other dimension linger in this dimension. So I also believe that both versions of you would experience the deja vu phenomenon at exactly the same time. So when I have those moments of deja vu, I believe that the version of me that's in the parallel universe, that's very close to this one in proximity, that's experiencing the same time and space in linear time, and we're having exactly the same moment, we both feel it at the same time. And it's like, whoa, right? Because the energy is powerful. We've both made exactly the same decision at exactly the same time. And that energy is amplified because it is a mirror version of me, okay? So because we are all connected just the same way as you're connected to your soulmates and your soul family and your twin flame, and we have this telepathic connection, there's no reason I can't have that same connection with the other infinite versions of me. But because we are in close energetic proximity, that that's why it feels so familiar, okay? And 
it's happening simultaneously for both of us. So that energy is amplified and then the phenomenon of deja vu occurs. That is my theory and my explanation for deja vu. I really want to hear yours. So please share with me your theories below. Let's create a thread, a chain. Let's share as many theories as possible because there is no one absolute truth other than love, which means that anything is possible. And why not share as many versions of this truth as possible for us to then find what resonates and connects. You never know. I may even evolve my belief on deja vu. So I would love to hear everything that you have to share with me. If you would like more bursts of positivity, I have a free positivity rampage. Links are in the description box below. It is free. And please don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends if it resonates and subscribe to my channel. It helps me so much. I love you so much and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.